y'all, I'm Rachel with Stella Rose. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button for me. And if you're not, welcome back friends and family. I am just getting over the flu and I did lose my voice. And as you can tell, it's a little raspy as it's coming back in. So this is the official video for the 750 subscribers and the IOD drawing. We're going to have that at the end of the video. But before that, I have three small projects that I wanna to get to show you. So let's start with project number one. These two doors came off of the hutch that I did the seven days of lives on, where I showed you how to ombre the piece of furniture. First, I removed all the hardware, and then I cleaned them really well because this came from a home off Marketplace, but had a lot of nicotine left on the furniture. Then I went to my go-to, which is Bondo, to fill the holes because it doesn't shrink and it dries really super fast. Then I took my candle wax and I rubbed it all up and down on the wood part where I wanted it to be chippy after I was done painting it and it was time to sand. I then painted it with a 50-50 mixture of DIY paint, Bohemian Blue, and Skeleton Key. I just love this color. After it was dry, I sanded it where all of the wax was at, because you can see a little bit of it through the paint, and it became really chippy. I then measured the center at the top of the door, and I put a D-ring in there so it can hang a wreath, and you can hang it on the wall. Once I was done with that, I waxed it with clear wax first all the way around, and then I went with my DIY black wax just to darken it up. I love the way it looks. Here it is where I'm finishing up adding the wreath to the top of it. I added one of the Luna wreaths that I sell in my shop. The Luna wreaths are available in my shop, and I will leave a link to that in the description below. Let me know how you guys liked how this one turned out. I think this one is one of my personal favorites. If you like this kind of content, please hit that subscribe button for me and help my channel grow. Project number two. Have any of you guys ever seen these? They're curtain rod hangers. They go at the top and a rod goes through them so your curtain hangs through it. But I only had one and I was gonna use it as a shelf in my shop. But then I decided to do something different. I stuffed the hole and then I added the rosettes mold from IOD to each one of the sides so that it had some support with the stuffing in there and it wouldn't fall in. And I wanted to close up each side of the hole. And then I used my tight bond two glue to adhere both of them. And then I taped them with some uh, painter's tape to make sure that they stayed in place overnight. I also used Bondo to cover up the holes on the back, which were the hooks that would have hung it on the wall, because this is when I had decided I was gonna change from using it as a shelf as then to a corbel. So I painted everything in little black dress, and then I sealed it all up with Big Top because I wanted to distress it back to the black color. And then I gave it a coat of DIY Prairie Gray. Once the prairie gray had dried, I wet distressed it back so that you could only see the prairie gray in the little nooks and crannies of the piece because this had a lot of detail on it. And then I used all three waxes, clear, white, and black wax, so I had a multi-dimensional look when I was all done with it. This, I think, turned out really neat and different. Now I know every time I'm at the Goodwill store or any of the resale shops and I see these, I'm going to pick them up and change them around to make them corbels instead of outdated curtain holders. Pick number three. This was a really quick flip off of Marketplace. I purchased these candlesticks for $5. I love the way they look. The texture on them is great. And I knew just what I wanted to do with them. So I first started out with two coats of Prairie Gray from DIY. Once the Prairie Gray dried, I then added DIY Clear Wax. Even though I'm going to use a colored wax, I have this as a safety net for myself because if 
I use too much colored wax, you can use the clear wax to erase the colored wax back and it makes it easier to control. And then once I clear waxed it, I used the DIY white wax. I love these waxes, you guys. They are so buttery soft and smooth and easy to use. And then I took a rag and I wiped back the white wax so that you could only see it in all the details of this beautiful candlestick. All of the paint and products used in today's video you can find over on my website at stellarosebotique.co or in both of my shops at 524 Justice Drive, Greenville, Tennessee, which is next to the hot dog house across from Walgreens on the bypass, or at 222 Collier Street in Sevierville, Tennessee, located inside the Violet Kingdom Boutique. When I was all done, I added some of the autumn candle greenery rings that I have available in my shop. I'll put the link below. And I added a candle for the display, and I personally think they look fantastic. This was a quick and easy flip. Thank you to each and every one of you that spend your time watching my videos and supporting myself and my small business. I truly appreciate it. So here's my thank you to you. I cut up everybody's name that participated and I added it to the glass jar so I could pick a winner. All right, y'all, I have everybody's name here in the jar. Thank you again so much for supporting my small business and my channel. Our next drawing will be when I reach a thousand subscribers and I'm almost at 850 subscribers. So the more you guys share out my videos, the sooner we're gonna get there. Also, make sure you guys tell me in the comments what your favorite project was that I did this time. Maggie Maples. You are the winner of this drawing, so please contact me and you'll be able to pick out an IOD transfer. Thank you guys again. Have a great night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.